Hey guys, this is Sasquatch Locks. Today I have for you a little brass padlock. It is a WB or a Wilson Bohannon, I believe I'm pronouncing that right. Um, I don't know what size it is. I'm gonna guess around like a 40 millimeter, 50 millimeter, somewhere around there. Um, I do not have a key for it. There's the keyway. This lock was on my gate at my shop. It says OG&E Series 2 on it. So I'm guessing uh, OG knew to put these on the gate and that way their guys could come out and open the gate and uh, get to where they needed to go. It was also with many other locks on the gate. So each of each, uh, the locks connected you know, a separate link allowing different people to open the gate. So let's go ahead and pick this today. Use top of the keyway. And I'm gonna use a pick I made. It's kind of a medium hook. Um, with a little uh, of an angle kind of like a gym, Peterson gym. Alright, let's see. Pin one, two, three. By the way, it's a five pin lock. Okay, we went to a false set. Kind of rotation on one. Well, I can get on them. Got one. We lost our false set. Got it back. Got our false set back again. That was two, and it is open. It automatically locks back once I let off the tension. I try letting it off slow to keep it unlocked, but it just automatically goes back. It's got, got pretty strong spring tension on it. So there's that. Um, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys today. Uh, the only thing I can think of is I was trying to rake it earlier and I was having a lot of success with the Octo Rake from Sparrows, which is this rake right here. It's got that cool little etched design in it. Let's see if we can get it open with that. You gotta get past that spring tension, but you still gotta balance that tension between uh, light and heavy almost. Not well, heavy, but past that spring. It was working earlier. Let's keep trying. Oh, and got it that quick. It's not bad. And I did go ahead and try a Bogota. We can try that real quick and see if it works. I'm probably cursing myself. It's not gonna end up working after that, after that rake just worked, or octo rake just worked. I found this lock likes a rocking motion instead of a raking in and out. Or more of the scrubbing motion. Oh, oh you got it open. Well, that's all I can think of that I wanted to show you guys today. The uh, only other thing, which is the final thing I'll show you, is uh, I've been making some pin and pins, and this is my first one I made. It's got no grooves on it or anything. It's just uh, two pieces, and it protrudes a little bit from the bottom, so you would have a T-pin and 
a pin and pin. Let's see if I can show you that. If I can get my tweezers out of the way. Sticks out from the bottom just a little bit. And the other one, I lost the um, pin that goes through it, but this one was serrated. You can see serrations on it, and then you can see the hole through it. So I've been uh, experimenting with pin and pins. I've had a lot of fun making them. But uh, that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, please like my videos, uh, subscribe, share them, and uh, don't do anything illegal. Thanks, guys.